going in and reshaping the nails now. Alrighty, so that's what the nails look like after I shaped them. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the other hand. The lady that was just here when you came, mm -hmm. she's going to Jamaica tomorrow for her birthday. And it's like a girl's trip. And apparently, like, well, they got to take a COVID test before they, you know, to get on the plane. And apparently one of the girls tested positive. Right. It's like, damn, that in Arkansas and um, right now like I like right now I'm gonna go to Miami to do classes uh, but I am gonna be looking into doing zoom classes here soon yeah I'll be going to Miami like I said next month um, but for next year I definitely want to come up with like a schedule uh, to where like I go somewhere like each month maybe at the beginning of the maybe at the no like the end of the month and go to like a different state and do classes.
Okay, stop it. Sugar, honey, stop. Honey. Bunny, stop it, please. Alrighty, so after I finish um, shaping the nails, I'm going to go in with my extra fine drill bed and I'm going to use my e-file at 10,000 RPMs. And of course, falling from the right side all the way over to the left side. Uh, let me see if I can show in so you guys can get a better view. Okay. So going from the right side all the way over to the left side, going back and forth. And the goal right here is to just seal that cuticle area because if you leave any little gap in between the natural nail and the acrylic, the nails will lift once you get like water, any type of moisture trapped under there is gonna cause the nail to lift. And usually I know that I followed enough where I'm able to see where the cuticle is, where the natural nail is, and where the acrylic is. And then of course, following the rest of the nail to make sure that it's all nice and smooth. So same thing, going around the cuticle area. And then if you need to slow your drill down, that is completely fine. Just use it at whatever speed you feel comfortable using it at. Like I said, I'm using it at 10,000 RPMs. Yeah, when it comes to lifting, it could be a number of things. It could be that maybe you're not prepping the nail correctly or you're not applying the correct size tips. Maybe you're not using a primer. Maybe you're uh, you're not using the correct liquid to powder ratio or most likely you're not falling around this cuticle area like you should. What you gonna get from two Vickies? Probably a salad. I'm starting to get hungry too. I should have ate before I came. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Lizbeth. 
Yeah, so I'm definitely going to look into doing the Zoom classes for sure. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on that. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, when it comes to the uh, to lifting, like it's kind of just like a process of elimination. You just have to see, like, okay, you know, I know I'm filing the or removing the shine right, and I know I'm applying the correct size tips. So maybe you know it could be the primer, or maybe it could be the acrylic. Like you know, it could be a number of things. But like I said, you just have to um, kind of do a process of elimination. No, I don't do any hard gel. I just do acrylic. I'm going to be doing a like marble French tip. Yeah, this is a new drill bit that I'm using, so it is still pretty sharp. So don't judge me. I was going to say, they're going to think you're going to be walking around cutting people. <laughs> I think it'd just be my fingers. I'm probably the only person that get cut. Yeah. Your skin must be real sensitive because I barely like, it's like, it just barely touch you and it cut. Uh, so my prices, I actually charge based on the length. Um, so, um, you know, like the signs already included. But I really need to adjust my price list here soon. So I'll be, it's just a lot of shit I got to work on. <laughs> I just got to make time. You going to do nails when you're in Miami? Mm hmm in classes. You going to take all your nail gels? No, nah, I'm not taking all of them. What you gonna take in the main colors? Oh, yeah, the main colors and some fall colors.
cold when I get hot, I get so irritated. You hot? Mm hmm It's just that, I'm probably about to turn it on, but that ACB now. No, I don't. It didn't have no rinse on, did it? Um, I think it had one at the in the middle. Oh, okay. okay. Let's see. But just like one, mm -hmm. like on each nail. Hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I am gonna be using some bling. Yeah, so now I'm just going in with the buffer, and of course, this is just going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e file. What you gonna eat? Girl, I don't know yet. Maybe something at home. Mm -hmm. Go, go eat Ivan food. Mm -mm. How's Lynn done with her um her business? Just good on it. Yeah. Or people don't got on her nerves so much. That too. I think for her birthday, her sister had bought her like this big, um, this big thing that she can make like cups and hats and mm. and a lot of different mm -hmm. things. I think it's like a, a iron too, like the the big ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't think she's opened it yet though. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think she's been making stuff like that though because her um her computer had got messed up. Oh, okay. Okay, now I'm just wiping the nails off with, an, uh, with alcohol to get rid of any of that dust.
And you want the same color as the pink and white? Yeah, it's fine. Alrighty, so I'm going to be doing like a, a marble French tip. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go in with the white as a base. And then I'm going to go back and do the marble. Or actually, I might just, I don't know. I'm going to try to just do it uh, without doing a base. And then if it don't work out, then I'll just go in and do the base first. So I'm just applying the two colors, which is the pink and the um white and then I'm just going to swirl them around So when you're doing this technique with the marble like this, you do want to make sure that you wipe the sides off because, you know, uh, I did go in there with the polish pretty thick. So as you guys can see, I'm just going in and doing like the polish and then I just roll it around. I think it was marble. It was marble with, uh, with oh, pink. Oh, pink. Oh, my bad. Okay, so instead of doing the white, it's gonna be uh, with a hot pink and a lighter pink. So, let's see. Okay, so I'm basically gonna do the same thing except for I'm, um, instead of the white, I'm gonna use this hot pink. So just doing your dot of the pinks. I'm gonna catch it. Okay, how much is it? It's gonna be oh, it's gonna be fifty-five for my feet as well. Oh, sixty-five. Mm, I probably need to use some lighter. Okay, so those two colors kind of like just, <clears throat> they just look too similar. Not necessarily similar, but you can really tell. Mm. Let me see the picture again. I'm sorry, do you want to see the picture yeah. again? Yeah, I know, I want to see that picture too. Which one? The one on your screen. Oh, oh yeah. hold on. Shit. Okay. Oh, Girl, I have put so a bun in on her. There you go. Okay. My bad. <laughs> Girl, she always be making that damn face. Hold on, I'm gonna show you this picture. <laughs> this was... She be looking at people like the fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> yeah, from you. <laughs> she came out with your attitude. Okay, so these two colors are definitely a lot better. The other ones that I was trying to use, like, the colors just, like, they didn't pop. So just applying the colors and then just with my uh, little dotting tool, just rolling the colors around. And then I'm going to go in with my small brush and I'm just going to create that small line. And then, like I said, you do want to make sure that you wipe the sides off. So just like that. 
And I'm gonna do that on all of them. So I'm doing the pink and the hot pink. And it don't matter, you know, which one you do first. Just do both colors and then swirl it around. And then also like push it up towards the side, you know, to to be able to create that small line. Girl, is that so stomach? Yeah, I'm hungry as hell. You didn't eat nothing this morning? Mm-mm. And you said you worked out. I bet you hungry. Me too. Even when my first client came, like I was still laying on the couch and I could see her walk by and I'm just like, damn. <laughs> and then I was like, girl, I stayed out. She was like, girl, shut the hell up. You do that every weekend. <laughs> yes, the gel polishes are by Madam Glam. Uh, I am using the color All Natural, and then the other hot pink one is called OMG Pink. And I do have a promo code for them, which is Get Nailed uh, 32. It's either Get Nailed or Get, uh, or get Nailed 32. And then also you can do this with any color or as many colors as you want. Uh, but like I said, since the polish is going on there pretty thick, you do want to make sure that you're constantly wiping off the sides. Also, that way, you know, it doesn't take away from your shape. Do you be playing video games? You're not. <laughs> Do you? No, I bought me a Nintendo Switch the other day, though. I thought about, oh, I wasn't going to buy me one before because, I like, the only games that I really ever liked were, like, Mario games. Yeah, the Mario games. Mm -hmm, and I was going to buy me one for that. But I was like, no, like, I'm not going to have time to play it. Mm -hmm. Girl, I went and bought me one. Are you back working? Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. I went and bought me one. I was like, I'm not, I'm not even gonna have time to play this shit, but I still <laughs> bought it anyway. Mm -hmm. Have you had time to play it? Yeah, I have played it. I haven't played it recently though. Mm -hmm. I think I just bought it last week. Oh, okay, okay. I bought it one of these days. Mm -hmm. Would you get the new one or the one? Because, you know, the new one, you can connect it to the TV. Mm, girl, I think I was just going to get the regular, like, little handheld one. 
The new one that came out, it's like a handheld, but the controllers slide out and you connect mm -hmm. it to the TV. Mm. Okay, and then after you finish doing them, you see how this one, like the polish slid to the side. So just go in and just wipe the sides off. That way, like I said, it doesn't take away from your shape. So it's like, even though I'm wiping it, like there's still polish there. Like I'm not just, you know, leaving the sides with no polish. Like there's still polish there. I'm just making sure that, um, like I said, it doesn't like round off our corners or anything. And just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. Uh, the Okay, so the brush, whenever I go in to clean up the small line, uh, I do dip the brush into the acetone. I'm using the, uh, I forgot exactly what it's called, but it's the Melody Susi uh, Nail Light. I'll be sure to leave the link down below after, um, after the live. Bunny, don't start, girl. Where's iced tea at? Girlfriend. You be getting him sometimes? I only got him like uh, not too long ago. He went out of town, so I watched him for him. Hmm. And I think he was supposed to go out of town this week, but I think he changed his mind. Or he did go, but it was like he was supposed to go like out of state. And I think he ended up just going somewhere around here. Not sure what dogs get in. <laughs> Do y'all still have that one dog that yeah uh that had bit that, that Girl, one? Yes. We still have him. Then <laughs> he could get us. Or I wonder if he bit the mailman or bit his tire because on a piece of mail it said dogs with the date. Like they wrote on the piece of mail. No, no, I think a lot of times it's like if there's dogs and they like scared, like they just don't get out and then they just Put like saying that there was a dog there and that's why they didn't deliver it. Because mm. they'll do that in a neighborhood too. If it's a dog in a neighborhood uh -huh. and they like gotta walk the route, they won't like they'll just they won't deliver the whole neighborhood. Okay, so I went ahead and cured that one just because like the polish was starting to run. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one. And then uh for this one, I'm just going to go in and do one stone on each nail. Do you want it on the same spot as the picture? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to go in and do, it was like what, right here? Yeah, in the middle. I'm just going to do one stone on each nail, like right where the small line is.
And I am using this like nail adhesive and I'm using my wax pencil to apply the bling. I will have all of my bling and the wax pencils on my website as well. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the Hurry Up Spray. This spray is going to help the glue dry a lot faster since it is a gel resin. It's thicker than just regular nail glue. So it takes it a little bit longer to dry, but with the activator spray, it dries the glue instantly. And then after that, I'm going to go in with the Madame Glam Gel Top Coat. Uh, the glue that I'm using is the Soleil Nail Adhesive, and it's definitely the best that I've used. And I've been using it for a while. I use uh, to do the small line. I use my number six. You can put it here. I use my number six uh, French brush by Alpha Brush. This one was actually part of the collaboration that I did with them, so it's no longer available. But I know that they have just the regular like brown one, which is exactly the same. It just doesn't have my name on it. Get the end is her name. He hung she she hungry too. She probably is because I left him over here last night. You want food? You want a treat? You want to go home. What's wrong? Hold on, baby. I'm almost done. You want him. You got go party? You want to go outside and party? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Bunny. Do that, Chinga. My bad. He said he got to go pee. Okay. She got to go pee. It's a she, right? Yeah. She's a she. Yeah. You ain't thinking about getting another dog? Yes, I am. Like an outside dog or inside? No, inside. I just want, I want a poodle. They're so cute, oh. like the hair. Girl, you can turn into a cat lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm not. Like, I want to, but 
I'm not, at least not right now. Yes, the polishes that I'm using are by uh, Madam Glam. Come on, let's go take you inside. Pass out and being hungry. Girl. <laughs> you like it's in the rain outside. Was it thunder? <laughs> Did you get her feet? Huh? Did you get her feet? Mm -hmm. They both are. Why do you get sugar feet? Because he, like, we were trying to breed, like, this one lady wanted to breed with him, and, um, girl, his little, apparently his little ball got twisted up, and so, like, it was, like, super, super swollen, and so they had to cut him off. Well, they are gonna cut one off, and I was like, just go ahead and cut both of them off. Why is it because he's too small or no I think it's just the people that were that did it like they didn't know what they were doing and so you know how dogs like turn like booty to booty after mm -hmm. they're done so we're thinking that maybe they like like sit with the mall or something and like it like got twisted somehow dang so it was like super swollen he couldn't even walk and <clears throat> so they tried to give him some medicine for it to, like for the inflammation and they were like that if the swelling didn't go down, that they would have to just do the surgery. So it didn't go down or, mm -hmm. or you don't know yet? No, I didn't go, this was a while back. Uh -huh. um, no, I didn't go down all the way. And, so, and he was still hurting, so I was like, yeah, cut it off. They already did it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This was probably like at the end of the year. You know which color you want on your toes? Oh, uh, probably the hot pink. Mm -hmm. uh, unless you just don't like to get them last time again. Just re I don't know. Mm. Yeah, probably just like they was last time. What like, we do? You know, uh, you did a time? French tip. With the pink, you want it? Yeah, you can do it with the pink. Okay. I think she is hungry. Yeah, so whenever you do a marble and you feel like it takes away from the shape, that's why I go in and like wipe the sides off. That way I'm able to keep that shape. And this is the glue that I use.
Alrighty, y'all. So here is the final look. As you guys can see, they turned out really pretty. I definitely love the two colors together. The marble just, you know, looks really good. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at getno32, and I will see you guys next time.